Welcome back, everybody. Go ahead, stop and smell the flowers. That's one of the reasons behind the Oshkosh Garden Lot. And Jordan is exploring one of the gardens this morning. Hello, Jordan. Hello, guys. Yeah, I'm doing just that. Smelling the rose. Actually, I haven't seen any roses. I've been smelling a whole lot of flowers, kind of enjoying the sounds and the sights of the nature uh, back here in, in one of the gardens here for the Garden Walk. We have Leanne back once again. And where exactly are This is not your house. So where exactly are we? <laughs> no, this this is the garden of Phyllis Alikos. Okay. She's one of our homeowners on this year's Garden Walk. All right. Yeah, she did a phenomenal job here. And, you know, we, we were talking earlier about, you know, all the cool things that she has here. But, you know, I've I've seen a whole lot of butterflies. I've seen a whole lot of nature. How did she kind of get that incorporated back here? Well, Phyllis has really included quite a number of plants that are attractive to pollinators mm -hmm. um, and attractive to butterflies. Uh, she's also got a small water feature in her garden yeah. that uh, she's home to some frogs that she was telling us. And of course, she backs up to Sawyer Creek. So she's got the, the benefit of some big water back there and sees herons and another wow. quite a, other water birds uh, yeah. from her deck here. And the other thing too is she incorporated the deck as well as some sitting areas. And, and do you see that a lot in, in the gardens that are featured in the garden walks, you know, where people have actually like laid out areas for uh, sitting and enjoying, I guess, if you will? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I think most gardeners like to build in a spot to, uh, from which to appreciate their labors. <laughs> yeah, very cool. And, and behind you here, uh, we actually have one of the cooler tropical plants here. Wh which one is this? Uh, this is a banana. Uh, Phyllis actually has three of these large tropical plants. Wow. She, um, she sends them to a local business to overwinter them okay. and then brings them out every spring and, and, and yeah, they're just gorgeous. I think it's really cool that not only do you have, you know, uh, probably natural plants here to Wisconsin, but you have the tropical plants too. Now, um, this garden walk all in general, it, when, you, when, you, when you come through, you don't really need to be a part of the garden club at all too or really know a whole lot about gardening. Oh, absolutely not. Uh, we certainly attract a quite a few folks mm -hmm. who are gardeners themselves, uh, but anybody who appreciates the nature's beauty is it would certainly enjoy the garden walk. Yeah, and the, and the owners too are actually going to be out here if you have any questions. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, they're happy to speak with folks and share their tips and advice and tell a little bit about their garden story, how it came to be. Okay, and you've actually done the garden walk yourself at your house. You know, what is it like for you to kind of welcome people into your property in Showmore? Uh, it, it's fun. It really mm -hmm. is, Jordan. Uh, I think gardeners in, in general are a generous group and, and yeah. we're happy to share uh, with folks. And, and certainly our homeowners get an awful lot of, uh, of nice little pats on the back as yeah. well. So yeah. it, it's, it's a treat for them too, I think. Yeah. Although a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> Although a lot of work indeed. So the tickets are on sale. Uh, you can buy them either before or right at the event when you show up here for one of these five houses. But the ticket sales go to support the Garden Club, which you guys do a lot of cool things in the community. We do. Um, we're largely a service organization that's, that's organized around gardening and environmental causes. Um, we do some uh, manual labor kinds of things mm -hmm. in the community in terms of uh, community beautification, but we also uh, contribute to several thousand dollars worth of scholarships really? each year, as well as support other gardening ventures that, uh, that we maybe are personally not doing, but, but others in the community are organizing. And that's pretty much where the proceeds from the Garden Walk yeah. will go. So they'll be returned to the community for some other gardening or environmental purpose. All right, guys, so this is twofold this weekend. On Sunday, get down here. Not only can you smell the roses, but you could support a great cause too. <laughs> it's beautiful there this morning. Thanks, Jordan. We'll be right back.